Good morning and welcome to a Friday morning meeting here live on Facebook, the online church. And today um, uh, you will be in the company of Stanley, myself, that will be ministering in English and my wife who is... Karen, goeiemorgen. Ek gaan volgend in Afrikaans benien en baie welkom hier vrijdagochtend by die dakgemeente. Hier by ons vrijdagochtend by eenkomst op Facebook en um, baie, baie welkom saam met ons. Wees deel volgend van ons lekker keier hier op een vrijdagochtend. So vroeg uit die veer uit. Yes. Um, ons het seker lang klaas, het ons so vroeg uit die veer uitgekom. So ons loof die Heere daarvoor en um, wees deel en geniet het volgend gesel saam met ons. Wat ook al volgend uitgaan, wees Deal love and love yes, uh, as we are waiting for you to tune in and people to get online live here on Facebook, we are just sharing our message. And as you are tuning in, please do share the message there to your Facebook timeline <clears throat> and uh, and as well as WhatsApp. If you do have WhatsApp, yes. share it there to your status. That is a very very effective way. Of Amen. spreading the gospel, of spreading the message you are watching this morning, uh, the church, the congregation, the members you are associated with, yes. so that everybody can also receive the encouragement and the blessing from the Lord that you Praise are receiving. Yeah. Hallelujah. Through this ministry this morning, we just want to praise and worship the Lord this morning. He is so good, He is so gracious, He is so powerful. Oh, good morning, goeie morgen, hartelijk welkom. Praise we are early this morning, it was a long time since we... Was it last Friday? Oh yeah, right? we broadcasted last Friday. Yeah. But um, for those who didn't know, we were away comp uh, for a month in November in Gauteng. Not an holiday. <laughs> we were visiting congregation members, those who we love. Uh, we have visited and met new people, yes. um, souls that were saved, that we baptized as well after nice, the spiritual yeah. rebirth, etc., etc. So it was a month of hard work spiritually to get to everybody and visit and encourage each everybody oh, just to stay in the faith as well nice, yeah. and just answer questions, uh, issues that are there, uh, um, uh, things that uh, were uncertain of, etc., etc., so that we could just minister, minister personally to each one in their houses. Praise so yeah. we just, uh, it's for us really a privilege to um, that you open your hearts and your doors and your oh, um, everything in your life, your, your, your physical doors, your spiritual doors, yes. that we could have minister to you Praise and that you also invited those that you think needed the gospel in that respect. So praise the name of the Lord. Goeiemorgen, hartelijk welkom vir die wat nog nie weet nie. Ons was een maand, jylle november was ons weg in Gauteng. Dit was Gauteng moep in Melanga in Noordwest. Dit was in Vrystaat gewees. Het was oorals gekeier by gemeentelede, broer, sis, sis, neer, om alle te versterk. Nieuwe mens ontmoet, siele wat gered is, Ons het gedoe, prijs die naam van die Heere, so die Heere sy naam kon ons groot gemaakt het. Net om weer versterking te kry, sekerheid van geloof te kry, en so voort. So praise the name of the Lord. Now, this morning, my wife, myself, we were just talking and reading the scripture in Revelation, and it's quite amazing. Sometimes, I don't think we always realize what inheritance we really have, yeah, and what right. reality is the spiritual world over and above our material world, yes, isn't it? So sure. we we tend to forget that. We, oh, we lose in this hustle and bustle of this world. Every day is grinding work. We tend to forget how really powerful. And there's a few guidelines and a few things that are written down so that we can look forward to an this eternal home of us. Jo, prijs die Heere, volgend te lees ons so lekkie hier in openbaring 22, so dier die skrif en to ons in mekaar gesels, to besef ons, dat mens vergeet baie keer, wat is die werkelijkheid 
van die geestelike wereld. Die realiteit daarvan, joh, dit bestaan, dit is groot, dit is mooiste, yes, um, dit is in werking. Yes, <laughs> dit staan nie stil vir ons in yes, werking op een dag nie. Dit is elke dag aan die gang, elke dag is daar besluit, elke dag is daar dinge wat gebeur in die geestelike wereld. Daar is geestelike weesens, daar is engele, daar is dienstkrachte, daar is mense wat al dood gegaan het, wat al reeds in die paradijs is, daar is God, dit is, dit is die lam, loof, die heren, dit is die troon van God, en alles is daar, en alles is die heel dag bezig in werking, en as daar ook die koninkryk van duisternis yeah. van Satan, wat ook siele wil verlei, en mislei, en, en die hel en werp, en al die type van dinge, so baie keer besef mens nie, terwyl mens so bezig is met jou dagelijkse leven, daar is rechtig, een geestelike wereld. Yes, and let us read a verse here, a verse or two here in Revelation 22, ah, I must just get it there yeah. on the computer, Ah, we don't have load shedding, so we can use the very big screen this morning. Yep. <laughs> is it big yes. enough? Can I? Yes, fine. Can I get also a bit more? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord, Hallelujah! That's why we have glasses, etc., etc., mm. and magnification on the phone. Yes. <laughs> okay, Revelation 22 verses 1 and 2, and He showed me a pure river of water of life clear as crystal, proceeding from the throne of God and of the Lamb. In the middle of his street and on either side of the river was the tree of life, which bore twelve fruit, each tree yielding its fruit every month. The leaves of the tree were to the healing of the nations. Wow. So the, the, the river of water of life, the water of life, comes directly Yo. from the throne of God. That Yo. is also where the tree of life is. That is the tree that is now protected. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. So that not uh, 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 so that not all people and all spiritual people um, can partake of the tree of life whose life is full of sin and darkness. Sure. Ons lees hier in 22 vers 1 en 2, en hy het my getoon, een syvere vier van die water van die lewe, en jy moet mooi luister van dit, elders is kristal wat uitstroom uit die troon van God en van die lang. Wow. In die middel van sy straat en weeskante van die rivier was die boom van lewe, wat twaalf maal vruchte dra en elke maand sy vruchte gee, en die blare van die boom is door die geneesing, van die nazies, wow. en dit het my so getref volgend, die so. gedeelte, wat hy gesê het van, en hy het my getoon, een syvere vier, van die water van die lewe, ja. en wat is die water van die lewe, dit is wat Jesus gesê het, vir, vir die vrou by die put van Samaria, hy het van gesê, as jy my vrou, vir die uh, levende water, vir die strome van levende water, die water, wat jou vir ewig laat lewe, en vir ochend toe denk ek daar aan, joh jyre, dis die geest van u, wat ons ontvang met ons wedergeboorte, en dit is die water van lewe. Amen. So as jy nie die water in jou lewe het nie, is jy dood. Yes. Maar as jy die water het, dan lewe jy en het kom direct uit die troon van God uit. Um, jy kan my eerst bykie praat. Dit is so my om te sê. Ja, you can continue. It is quite amazing when the scripture says the water of life and when we read here in John uh, 7 verses 37 to 39, verses 37 to 39, John 7. In op, in, uh, <laughs> in op de laatste dag, nee. Uh, okay, well, I just want to get, yes, I'm going to go <laughs> to my English Bible quickly. <laughs> John 7, verses 37 to 39. What is the thing that he said? Uh, no, on the last day, that great day of the feast, <laughs> Jesus stood and cried out saying, if every, if anyone thirst, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, wow. out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. But he spoke concerning the spirit of whom those believing in him would receive, for the Holy Spirit was not given yet, because Jesus was not yet glorified. Wow. So we can see here, praise the name of the Lord in Revelation, the origin 
of this water of life, if you've given your life to oh. the Lord, comes from the throne of God. Crystal clear water mm. coming from, from the throne of God and of the Lamb. Why the Lamb? Because Jesus Christ says, He is the Lamb. You must believe in me. Yeah. So I open the door to you. I grant you access Amen. to this water of life. Hallelujah. Praise Isn't that amazing? That's why we must believe in the Lord Jesus Christ so that we can receive that water of life flowing from the throne of God in your belly and just spring up is this fountain of water that Jesus Christ has said to the women in Samaria at the well. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Johannes 7 vers 37 en op die laaste dag, die groe dag van die feest, het Jesus gestaan en uitgeroep en gesê, as iemand doors het, laat om na my te kom en drink, dit denk my dit, dit, denk my nou weer in die skrif in openbaring 22, yes. wat hy sê, die geest roep uit en die brand roep uit. Jesus kan het lees. Hy sê jou in Johannes 7, 38, hy wat in my gloe, soos die skrif sê, strome van levende water sal uit sy binneste vloe, en hy het het gesê van die geest, van die wat het sal ontvang, wat er om gloe, want die heilige geest was nog nie daar nie, omdat Jesus nog nie verheerlik was nie. Wow. So die heilige geest was nog nie uitgestort nie, voordat yes. Jesus verheerlik was nie, voordat hy nie opgevaar het in die jemel nie. Toe sê hy vir sy disciples, gaan wacht, dat jylle aangedoen word met kracht, en dit was yes. toe die heilige geest op hulle uit gesoord is, loof die Heere. So wanneer jy tot wedergeboorte kom, dan ontvang jy die levende water, die levende gees, in jou binneste loof die Heere, en dit maak jou geestelik lewend. Amen. Is dit nie amazing nie, loof die Heere. En dis die enigste manier, hoe jy geestelik lewend kan word, is dier die wedergeboorte, is dier jou hart vir Heere te gee, so dat God jou hart kan besnui, en jou die gees kan gee, so dat jy die lewe, in jou binneste kan hee, en dit kom direk, uit die troonsale van God uit, is dit nie amazing nie, en hy sê die lam ook, en wie is die lam, dis Jesus Christus, ons Amen. glo in die lam, ons gee ons harte, aan die Heere Jesus Christus, dier die Vader, so Jesus Christus maak vir ons hy dier oop, yes. so dat ons kan praat met die Vader, so dat ons na die Vader toe kan gaan, en ons saak vir hom kan stel, en ons harte kan oorbreek, so dat die Vader vir ons die wedergeboorte kan skenk, dier die Heere Jesus Christus, wat ons anneem, Wow, dit is amazing. En <laughs> dan lewe Lord. ons, en dan ons die lewe in ons harte, loof die Heere. Yes, and this is what the scripture says here, and let's just, just read this verse as well. John 4 verses 14, But whoever drinks of this water, that I, uh, whoever drink of the water <laughs> that I shall give him, will never thirst. But wow. the water that I shall give him, will become in him a fountain of water, springing wow. up into everlasting life. Wow. Praise yes, the Lord. Lord. So if you, when you accept the Lord Jesus Christ in the spiritual rebirth, hallelujah, Amen. He is the rock of salvation. We yes, must build Lord. our lives on Him, on His words, on His instructions that you received from the Father. And the very first thing to start building is to Give your life to the Lord to become spiritually reborn. And then you experience this water flowing wow. f in, from within your belly, inside yes. of you. It's just springing up and, and as, a, as a living fountain of a, a springing up as this water within, within, from within your belly. Hallelujah. And you experience it as this joy and peace that wow. overcome all understanding. Wow, I say, um, en Jesus sê vir haar, elke wat van hier die water drink, sal weer doorskry, dit is van hier die aardse water, jy sal weer doorskry, sê daarvan drink, maar elke wat drink van die water, wat ek hom sal gee, sal in eeuwigheid nooit doorskry nie, maar die water wat ek hom sal gee, sal om en om woord, een fontein van water, wat opspring, in die eeuwigheid, en wanneer jy jou hart vir die Heere gee, en jy jou hart so lekker oopmaak, dan ervaar jy die water, die fontein, wat die dier jou breek, loof die Heere, dit spring jy jou op, van blijdskap en heerlijkheid, en jy ervaar die lewe in Godse yes. Koninkrijk, dan besef jy Heere, daar is werkelijk een eeuwige lewe, daar is werkelijk een uh, um, 
ewige geestelike wereld, excuse, kom ek nou nie op die woord nie, daar is rechtige geestelike wereld, daar is rechtig een fontein van lewe, wat uit die troon van God uitkom, wat jou vul, loof die jyre, en baie keer my man, denk ek daar aan, ons druk die geest dood, in ons lewe, ons werk nie saam met die geest nie, ons sorteer nie saam met die geest uit nie, die eerste ding wat die geest doen, is om jou van sonde te oortuig, en as jy nie die sonde uitsorteer in jou leven, en jy beleid het voor die vader, so dat hy jou kan vergewe dier die Heere Jesus Christus nie, dan gaan jy dood voel, want die strome van levende water wil die dinge uitbring, hy wil het uithaal uit jou leven, hy wil jou oortuig, maak jou hart skoon, dat hy leven in jou binneste kan bly en inkom en wees vir altyd loof die Heere, en dan denk ek ook daar aan dat, baie keer dan denk een mens, dat God weet nie wat in jou hart aangaan nie, en God weet nie van sy water wat in jou is nie, maar as hy dit die troon van God uitkom, weet hy wat sy vloei daar in jou is loof die jyre, en wanneer jy dit baie keer uitblis en dooddruk, dan is daar nie meer een vloei nie, daar is nie meer leven nie, daar is nie meer kracht nie, daar is nie verlossing nie, daar is nie vrymaking nie, daar is nie blijdskap nie, daar is nie opgewonenheid nie, want mens druk die geest van God in die mense leven dood, en dit maak dat hy vloei, wat in jou moet inkom, elke dag uit Godse troon uit, dit maak dat hy dit toestop. Yes, and it's a big thing that my wife is talking to us now, that um, when we receive the Holy Spirit, it is our responsibility. And this morning, when I woke up, I woke up with the words, fueling the fire. Wow. And I realized in our Christian walk, on earth, when you are sitting around a campfire or a braai or whatever, especially a campfire, this nice big boma, if you want to keep that fire burning, you must keep on feeding that fire. Yeah. So, in other words, you must keep on putting dry wood on this fire so that this fire can become big and 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 give uh, uh, tranquility and life and uh, everything to all those around him. And we receive the Holy Spirit, and the, the Holy Spirit are, uh, as we have just read, it's it's it's. Uh, um, symbolized as water and also as fire and we can quench this fire we can uh, distance us from this fire from this living water oh. in our life so we as children of god we need to keep on fueling the fire in yes. other words we don't have to make up a spirit we yes. just need to be obedient to the oh, word man. of God and carry out the gospel and worship him and have love in our hearts towards the brothers, towards the world outside there because God the Father through his son Jesus Christ, uh, he sent Jesus Christ to save the lost uh, oh, and man. also when you are saved, he tends us, he looks after us, he, he, <laughs> he feeds us, hallelujah but if we turn our back if we become lukewarm, if we uh, keep ourselves busy with the world, then we uh, um, don't bless us the geest, and then we quench the spirit of God in our lives. <laughs> that is in my mind, by here, then for flow a means to be key. And that is what you say, that um, fuel the fire. Fuel the fire. What can on say yeah. from that? Stoot die vier. Ja, hou my nie brand. <laughs> hou my nie brand. En dit is so, as ons denk aan die vier, want die geest van die Heere word vergelijk met die water en met vier, prijs die Heere. Dit is wat Jesus gesê het, hy kom doop ons met die heilige geest en met vier vier loof die Heere, en die vier moet aan die brand gehou word, en baie keer word ons so deel van die wereld, en ons verflauw, en ons raak nie meer deel van die broederskap nie, en ons sak terug, en ons lees nie meer die woord nie, en ons bid nie meer nie, en ons is bezig met dit wat nie belangrik is nie, dan vervaag die dinge in ons leven, en jy begin weer dood voel, jy begin weer voel ek het teruggeval, jy begin weer voel ach wat is dit die moeite waard om te leven en die Heere te dien en al die dinge maar wanneer jy daar is wanneer die vier aan die brand gehou word wanneer die strome van levende water hierdie vloei het in jou leven loof die Heere, dan voel jy die leven, jy voel die kracht jy voel die reiniging en leven en al die dinge in jou leven, wanneer het kom direct uit die troonsale van God, en dit is wat so mooi wat hy sê, syver, 
Zijver water, yes. wat in jou inkom, zijver leven. En dit is ook om die geest van die Heere jou oortuig, dat God is niet een vriend yes. van hierdie wereld nie. God het nie gemeenskap met sonde nie, want het is zijver, dis rein, yes, wat amen. in jou binnenste inkom. En God is ons so genadig, dat er wel jou hart nog niet totaal en al uitgesorteer is nie. Gee al reeds vir jou, die strome van levende water, die yes, rein amen. water, die zijver water, so dat jou hart ook gesuiver kan word en yes. rein kan kom en jou jou leven kan uitsorteer Amen, praise the name of the Lord isn't that amazing, I'm just thinking when we talk about this the water of life that and Jesus Christ is this rock and if you accept him you receive this water of life just yes. bursting <coughs> inside of you just bursting open in your life Amen now, when we read in Numbers 20, you can read it in your own time. This is, this is where the uh, um, uh, nation of Israel came to it. That it was par part of the um, desert um, oh. the path, road. <laughs> I can't even think of the Afrikaans word now. You can't <laughs> believe it. But it's while they were in the desert. In Numbers 20, they got to a place where there were no water. And God said to Moses and Aaron, they must go to a certain rock. And this rock was huge. It wasn't a yes. tiny rock. It was a massive rock. And God said to them, speak to this rock. And obviously, because of um, ongeduld, um, impatience, yeah. um, he went and struck the rock. Okay, But the principle is when Moses went to this rock and he struck this rock, the, the next moment water from under the earth, burst through this rock and split this rock wow. in two. And this massive wow. stream of water just <laughs> flow out. And so there were water for the nation of Israel. So this wow. was a manifestation. And obviously why God had it against Moses when he struck the rock, because he said, speak to this rock. Yes. And Jesus is the word of God. He came in humbleness. He came Amen. in meekness. He didn't come to hit us. He came with his word. He came wow. not with might and power, but by the spirit. Yes. Hallelujah. Yeah. So Moses had to understand it. Although he was a very meek person at that moment, he was so impatient with the nation that he struck the rock. But, then it just broke through. And now we must accept the Lord Jesus Christ so that the streams of living water can burst from within our spiritual life, our soul, our yes. heart, and also flow out. And when it flows out, what happens? It feeds others as well. But wow. we are not there to quench and hold back that, that flow. And if wow. we hold back that flow, if we don't, carry out the gospel and live out the gospel, we, we uh, stop the flow of God's spirit in our lives. Sure, that is what my man has said. In the woestine path, Moes Moses met hierdie rots praat, want die volk het nie water gehad nie, en God het van gesê, gaan praat met die rots, so dat die water kan uitkom, en Moses het uit sy ongeduld, het hy die rots geslaan, want hy was ongeduldig met die volk gewees, yes. en hy was desperaat eindelijk tegen die volk yes. gewees, omdat hulle nie luister nie, en omdat hulle altyd murmureer, en kla en so aan, en hy het die rots geslaan, maar toe bars hier die water, hier onder hier die rots uit, en ek dink volgend jou, heren, dit is wat in die mense lewe gebeur, wanneer jy die Heere Jesus Christus aanneem, want die Heere Jesus Christus is die rots, wat jy moet aanneem in jou lewe, so dat die strome van levende water die dier jou kan breek, yes. hier in jou binneste, en wanneer jy dit ontvang, en wanneer dit deel is van jou lewe, dan kan jy dit uitdeel, muldelik, yes, kan jy dit amen. uitdeel, aan een volk, wat dalk elke dag kla en murmureer, oor alles wat in die land aan gaan, en alles wat die mekaar is en alles, maar in jou hart het jy soveel vrede, want jy yes, het die Heere Jesus Christus aangeneem, die vrede aangeneem in jou leven, en dit maak nie saak wat op hierdie aarde gebeur nie, want jy het een ander effernis, <laughs> jy het een ander yes, lewe, jy ontvang yes, lewe van een ander bron af, yes. as wat die mens ontvang wat op hierdie aarde is, want die mens kyk na dit, 
En hulle voel dis die lewe, dis die dood, dis die duisternis, maar ons ontvang een lewe uit die troonsale van God uit loof die Heere, uit die troon van hom uit, kom daar die, die strome van riviere van levende water, so ons het alle bron, ons leven met seerstof hier op aarde, maar ons siel lewe uit die levende water, die geest van God, wat hy in ons harte uitgestort het, dit is waarmee ons siel lewe loof die Heere. Yes, amen, and when we read here, yeah, this is quite amazing, as my wife was talking here this morning, when we read in uh, Romans 6, it's quite amazing, um, uh, there's a lot of things that can stop and hinder the flow of God's Spirit in our lives, and I just want to read a few verses yet, it also caught my eye this morning, I just want to read it, and this is one of the things that we as children of God have to consider all the time, when we are here on earth, especially in our daily work. He says, Romans 6, and I'm going to read from verse 15. What then shall we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace? Certainly not. Do you not know that to whom you present yourself as slaves to obey, you are the one slaves whom you obey, whether of sin leading to death or obedience leading to righteousness? Then verse 18, and having been set free from sin, you become slaves of righteousness. So we must become slaves of righteousness. Verse 20, for when you were slaves of sin, you were free from, uh, free in regard to righteousness. So we must become slaves of righteousness, slaves Amen. of God. And to be a slave of God, you are set free from sin. Hallelujah. Oh, Isn't that Lord. amazing? And so we must become we become slaves of God so that we are not no longer slaves of sin anymore. And this is the thing when we start serving the Lord, we we think there is no more moral law, there is no more spiritual law. We can live as we want to because Christ has set me free. The fact that Christ has set us free has bound us Amen. to God through Jesus Christ, so that this living water can continue flowing out wow, of us Christ to Jesus. others as well. If you have received this living water, hallelujah, then you want to share that living water to others as well. So, Romeine 6, 15, what then? Sal, die son, wa, wa, sal ons sonde doen? Omdat ons nie onder die wet is, maar onder die genade nie? Nee, stellig nie. Weet jylle nie dat aan wie, wie jylle self as dienstnacht tot op beskikking stel, om om gehoorzaam te wees, jylle dienstnacht is van hom, aan wie jylle gehoorzaam is, of die van die sonde tot die dood, of van die gehoorzaamheid tot die gerechtigheid? So wat hy hier so sê is, um, wanneer jy die vene op verlees, vers 18, hy sê, en vrygemaak van sonde, het jylle dienstbaar geword, van die gerechtigheid, aan die gerechtigheid, so ons raak dienstbaar aan die gerechtigheid, want yes. ons kom los van die wereld, ons kom los van dit waarin ons onderwerp was, en dit was aan die sonde en ongerechtigheid, ons was onderworpen daaran, yes. maar toe ons siel gered word, toe raak ons dienstbaar aan gerechtigheid, toe raak ons dienstbaar aan God, nou is ons vry van die sonde, van die oud testamentiese wet, wat ons nie kon losmaak en vrymaak nie, maar nou is ons onder genade, en ons ontvang juist die heilige gees, so dat dit ons kan oortuig dat ons hy sonde uit ons leven kan uitwis, loof die Heere. Wanneer ons sonde gedoen het, het ons een voorspraak by die Vader, om dit te gaan uitsorteer. En dit is hoe ons kan loskom van die sonde. So ons hoef nie meer een slaaf te wees van die wereld, van ongerechtigheid en sonde nie. Maar as jy los is om een slaaf te wees van die wereld, is jy een slaaf van Christus. Christus yes. Wow! Maar die slaaf wat jy daar is, is vry. Yes, dit is vol leer dit is vol kracht verlossing en wanneer jy dit ontvang wil jy dit ook deel met ander loof die heren. And it's quite amazing verse uh, if we look here at verse 22. He says um, but now having been set free from sin and having become slaves of God you have your fruit to holiness and the end everlasting life. Wow. So there is an end. Yes. <laughs> we can already bear the fruit and we cannot bear fruit if we don't have that streams of living water. And if we continue walking in that streams of living water, receiving it and also giving it out, living it out, because that stream of living water was there for the trees so that the trees can bear fruit. Hallelujah. Wow. 
you are also a tree and you must be at that water all the time. If you are not at a water all the time, there is no fruit. Hallelujah. If there's no fruit, we won't have an eternal inheritance. Hallelujah. Wow. So at the end of it all, it is our eternal life and <laughs> salvation in the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Verse 22, but now that you have free to make it, van die sonde en diensbaar geword het aan God, het jy heel vrug tot die um, heiligmaking en uiteindelik die eeuwige lewe. <laughs> so daar kom een tyd, daar kom een tyd, yes. wat het klaar is. En dit is so mooi wat my man sê, dat ons is ook een boom. En as jy kyk wat hy sê, die boom van lewe staan by hierdie rivier van levende water. En hy ontvang hierdie levende water so dat hy kan vrug dra. Yeah. En 12 yeah. maanden een jaar dra hy vrug. Yeah. Daar is nooit nie vrug aan die boom nie. <laughs> en dit is wat met ons ook moet gebeur. Wanneer ons die gees ontvang, die, hele, die, die, die strome van levende water ontvang die hele tyd, wat van die, strome van, van, van die troon van God afkom, yeah. dan ontvang ons dit ook hier by hierdie boom van yes. ons. En dit Dit maak ook dat ons boom 12 maanden het jaar kan vrug dra. Yes, it's Daar possible. Daar moet nooit nie, nie vrug aan die boom wees nie. Want Jesus het een vrug gaan soek in die boom en nou was nie een vrug nie. En hy het eindig vir ons kom wees. Jy moet altyd, of, het nou, of jy denkt is tyd of nie, moet jy vrug dra. Want ons is so geneig om te denk aan seisoene. Yes. Maar in Godse koninkrijk is daar nie seisoene nie. Yes. En daar drukking, en daar vervolging, en daar moeilijkheid, en daar zwaar, en alles moet jy nog steeds vrug dra, want hoekom? Want ons ontvang die lewe uit Godse troon uit. So ons lewe nie van dit wat ons hier sien en ervaar en beleef en al die dinge nie. Dis nie, ons moet lewe nie. Ons moet lewe van daai lewe. Dan gaan dit vir jou saak maak, wat op hierdie aarde gebeur nie. Ja, yeah, because we remove ourselves, we detach ourselves from the streams of living water. Praise the name of the Lord. That's when we don't bear fruit. And this is what Jesus also said in Matthew 13 in the parable of the seed. It's the things of this world, the daily grind of this world that makes us unfruitful. You, we are, maybe you are still Christian. Maybe you are still reading your Bible now and again. Now and again you pray. But is there real ripe fruit? Because yes. there's daily things choke us so that we cannot bear fruit. And if we don't bear fruit, nobody can feed from us. Yes. And that's what we, the, the Lord spoke to us earlier in our previous sermon, that we know our responsibility in this world. But do we know our responsibility in the gospel? In Jesus Christ. Yes. We must bear fruit now. And that fruit is holiness. And if we pursue it. At the end of the day. We will re- we'll receive eternal life. Praise wow. the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise so that gaan we ons eeuwige leven. Yes. En as ons boom. Vrug dra die heel tyd. En ons rijpe vrug aan. Is daar die heel tyd die vrug om uit te deel. Yes. Loof die Heere. Is dit nie amazing om daar te denk. En is wat ons daar woensdag aan ook so mooi gehoor het. Um, in die prediking van die woord. Wanneer jy daar is. Wanneer jy daar leven ontvang die heel tyd. En jy is, lees jou woord. En jy bid. En jy is in jou binnenkamer. En jy is soekend. Dan gaan daar een vrug wees wat jy daar kan uitbring. Wat jy yes, kan deel. Yes. Altyd. Altyd. Amen. Altyd. Is daar iets wat jy kan deel. En dit is wat moet gebeur met jou boom. Daar moet altyd daar vrug wees. Maak nie saak wanneer nie, as iemand nou vir jou vraag, dan moet jy kan sê, wat is so, dit is wat dit is. En um, dit is so mooi om dan te denk, jyre, as ek by jy is, as ek die strome van hevende water die altijd ontvang, hier in my binneste, dan sal ek iets hee om te deel. Ek sal iets hee om uit te deel, ook aan die wereld buiten. En met die kinders van die jyre, binnen in die lichaam van Christus. Wow, loof die jyre. I'm just thinking of something now. In our material daily work, your 9 to 5 work, if you work for yourself or a boss, doesn't matter. Every day, we force ourselves to bear fruit for the world. To yeah. bear fruit in our material work situation. Isn't it so? Every day. Yeah. Especially those that... For yourself, yeah, day. Yeah, especially if you work directly with clients. Every day, you must give your best. Right. If you like, I'm thinking of my... My daughter as well is doing nail art. Every single day, she must do her best. She cannot sit before a client and say, Ah, you know, I'm not 
today in the mood for doing your nails, but I'm going to charge you, but uh, I'm just going to do it. She must do her best because if that client comes in, that client thinks he's the only client for the day. That's isn't right. it? So that is just normal. We are, we think so. And even if you, whatever, even construction, whatever job you do, if you're working on cars or painting, whatever, and in this, in, in the gospel, it is as if we are waiting for something to happen so that we can bear fruit. And the word of God says, with endurance, wow. we must bear oh, fruit. Harden. Endurance. So, in other words, we must, like in the temporal world, yes. we must force ourselves to bear fruit in the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Wow. So that we can inherit eternal life and see this stream of living water. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That is my man. Oh, my man, for harding, frag trouw. You met yourself. Trek. In die evangelie. So dat jy nie die strome van levende water uitblis in jou leven nie. Want as jy nie gaan deel wees van die lichaam nie. As jy nie gaan deel wees van die broederskap nie. As jy nie gaan deel wees en jou woord lees en jou en die Heere soek in jou binnenkamer nie. Kan ek vir jou sê jy gaan niks en jy gaan in die droe boom wees. Wat ook miskien blare het maar geen vrug nie. En op die einde van die dag dit gaan maak dat jy jou eeuwige leven misloop. En in die wereld druk ons ons self geweldig baie. En ons sorg dat ons iets het om te gee. Ja. Ons sorg dat ons van ons self gee. Jy voel nie om van jouself te gee nie, maar jy glimlach maar vir die persoon waarvoor jy gaan werk doen, al voel het jou binneste breek in jou. Maar op die ouwe van dag in die woord van die Heere, moet ons dit ook doen. Ja. In volharding, wanneer hy geaard het jou teestaan, wanneer die vijand jou teestaan in jou hart, Moet jy jouself druk en sê, Jere, ek sal, ek sal vrug dra, en ek sal dit buiten uitdeel, en dit is hoe een mens oorwin. Yes, amen, so praise the name of the Lord. On earth, in a material world, we understand how to drive ourselves for material gain, which is not, it's, it's not wrong to do yes. your best in your material world, but it is as if we don't understand it in the gospel. Yes, and this is what Jesus Christ said, you must work. The work of God is to believe in Jesus. So he says the work. What does work mean? It is, it's a, it's a daily forceful thing that you must yeah. do. And even Paul says, if I don't do it willingly, I will be forced. But the gospel, I will minister and carry out and yeah. serve the Lord. So we can get to a point, we, we can stay at the point where we feel forced to serve the Lord and to bear fruit and to live a holy life. Or we can just open our hearts yes. to the streams of living water that are already there. The fire that are already there yes. that maybe have been quenched. You must feel that fire again. If there is something hindering that fire to, to burn, confess. Come to the Lord. Say, Lord, I feel that. Because what happens if the fire, if the fire goes down, it all of a sudden becomes cold around that campfire. Isn't yes. it so? So if it's a nice big fire, if it... Uh, if it goes down and it goes down and it goes down, it starts becoming cold. Even if there's still a little fire, it is cold. And sometimes we are cold in the gospel. Yes, and we must keep on feeling that fire by serving the Lord, confessing, carrying out the gospel, wow, force yes. ourselves, praise the name yes. of the Lord. And the Lord says, come to me and I will come to you. Yo, that's my. I'm all door shit. Come now, my dear. Yes. Come drink. Yes. Come drink enough. Yo, this is a outnourishing every day. Vir ons, kom drink van die levende water. En dit is so mooi wat my man sê, as die vier dood gaan, hier binnen in die mens, dan raak die mens koud in jou geestelike lewe. Mens voel sommer die koudheid, asof jy sommer so wegbeweeg en is so koud. Moe nie na by my kom nie. Maar wanneer die vier daar is, die warmte, die lewe, die vrug en al die dinge, dan wil jy by die persoon wees. Jy wil deel wees van die persoonse lewe. Wow, dit is amazing. So dit is net vir ons so groot aanmoediging vandag. Moe nie verder die vier uitblis nie, moet nie verder die waterstrome afsnui wat dier jy wil breek nie, loof die heren want hoe meer die mens dit afsnui hoe minder
Jener is die vloei naderhand, jy yes, en jou binneste. Amen. En jy voel, jy voel dors. Yes. Jy voel mismoedig, jy voel nie lekker nie, jy voel jy wil nie meer die Heere dienie. En dit is so mooi wat my man sê, dat die dwang gaan jou opgelee word, om die Heere dan te dien. Die dwang gaan jou opgelee word, om vrug te dra. Maar dit is nie lekker dan nie. Yes. Dit is jou gevoel as jy gedwing word. Yes. Dit is nie lekker nie. <laughs> so. Elke keer moet jy gedwing word, en gedwing word, en dan reageer jy maar op die dwing situasie. Maar wanneer dit lewe is in jou binnen, yes. Yes, hoef niemand jou te dwing nie, Praise dit breek net die deur, jy kan nie ophou praat nie, jy kan nie ophou deel nie, want is levend, hier in jou binneste loof die Heere. Wat is hy nie? The joy of the Lord will set your feet a dancing. The joy of the Lord will set your feet a dancing. The joy of the Lord will set you through and through. The joy of the Lord will set your feet a dancing. And set your heart a dancing too. The joy of the Lord will set your feet a dancing. The joy of the Lord will set you through and through. The joy of the Lord will set your feet a dancing and set your heart a dancing to you. The joy of the Lord will set your feet a dancing. The joy of the Lord will set you through and through. The joy of the Lord will set your feet a dancing and set your heart a dancing to. Is your wow. heart dancing today? Praise, Praise the name yeah. of the Lord. Hallelujah. Just open your heart that the gospel don't feel forced, but do it oh, willingly man. and you will experience this joy today. Praise the Lord. My Amen. man, I thank you for no, no, and. Waie keer as mense in die ochend opstaan, dan voel jy nie so sin nie. Yes. <laughs> jy voel nie blij nie, jy voel nie blijdskap nie. Maar as jy jouself druk, Amen. en jy begin sing, dan begin yes. die blijdskap so deurbreek, en so in die lekker sing, begin jy bid, en jy begin die Heere yes. loof en prijs, Alleluia. en dan vergeet jy so'n bykie van jouself, van jou emoties, van jou yes. gevoel, van die geaardheid wat jy so onderdruk, en dan breek jy jy uit, en nou, 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 is die strome daar, en dan kan jy lekker deel met ander ook. En nou, wat is van, ek give you advice, today. If you wake up in the morning, how is your alarm set? Okay, some of us has an alarm set just, <laughs> just wake you up. And sometimes when your alarm is set, maybe so that a radio station can start playing. Don't do that. If yes. you wake up, if you don't really have, get in a habit. Sometimes you just can't get at praise the name of the Lord when you stand up. Yes. Put on the audio Bible. Amen. Immediately, get in a habit, and then all of a sudden the word of God will yes. move through you, and it will start changing your appearance and your heart. Amen. And if you if you get up, you say, "Praise the name of the Lord, Hallelujah." Even if it comes, up, praise the name of the Lord, Hallelujah. <laughs> Just do something, yes. and maybe switch on that audio Bible in the morning, yes. so it can start playing while you're busy. Uh, 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 finishing up to go to work or school yes, or whatever the case might be. Loof die Heere, dit my net so dier ons breek yes, die man. hele tyd. Dit is een aanmoediging vir oogend. Breek net dier my geaardheid. Dit is een geaardheid waar die strome van levende water so terughou. Yes. Joch, breek dier jou geaardheid. Loof yes. die Heere. Yes, amen. Praise the Lord when we believe in Him. Streams of living water Amen. will flow through us. It will be like a fountain springing up Praise unto Lord. all el- everlasting life. Amen. Jylle moet een heerlijke dag hier en ons sien mekaar sondag. As die Heere se wil daarby is, sien ons mekaar sondag oogend 8 uur en um, bid ook vir ons, ons bid vir u, so dat die Heere elkeen staand hou, nuchter hou, waaksam hou, by hom hou, ook in die vakantie tyd loof die Heere en um, wees waaksam, wees waaksam, waak en bid. Yeah, just an afterthought, you can, you can listen at least to three chapters or four chapters of the Bible before you go to work, yes. before you exit your house. That is amazing. Amen. Wow. Yes. <laughs> okay, praise the Lord. May you have a blessed and awesome day. Hallelujah. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.